So Bainbridge um, is, uh, is an interesting island for a lot of reasons, but um, originally was the home of the Suquamish people, and uh, you know Chief Seattle's name, obviously. Um, and of course he was the most famous uh, member of that, uh, uh, of, of that people. Uh, Chief Kitsap was another famous uh, uh, local uh, indigenous uh, leader, and, and Kitsap uh, would have spent time on this beach. Um, and in this, the, you know, the Suquamish had, you know, settlements around. They never had a permanent settlement here, but they had a winter camp here. And they would have uh, used this because it's a south-facing, Bainbridge is long in the wrong direction. So in a climate like this, the sun is an important thing. So when it does come out, you want to be in it. And so it's slightly warmer and more pleasant. This is for several things. Obviously, I needed to try to meet the living building challenge. A very important <laughs> thing for me. Um, so performance in all areas was, was really a big deal. It's, it really kind of turned into a microcosm of the LBC and for me as the, as the founder it, it, uh, um, it, was, it was really good to go through what all the teams go through very yeah. personally like literally having to write <laughs> yeah. the checks myself and yeah. do different things and um, so for example this is the first rainwater only house in the county and one of the first in the country so 100% of the water uh, including drinking water is is rain i have no water connection um, it uses foam plush composting toilets for the waste and then i have a gray water system that irrigates the south uh, area um, that caused me problems so uh, i was lo i'm located in a mandatory sewer district so that first wouldn't give me my building permit and so i had to go to the city and say no you have to let me do this I'm, I'm kind of obligated and they said well you'd have to you know write a new municipal ordinance and get city council to pass it and I said okay so I did that <laughs> I worked with I worked with the city attorney and, and and we changed the ordinance on the island so now you can do this anywhere on the island nice. Um, nice. so that was a you know it's hard for a homeowner to, to change laws but I really pushed them mm -hmm. and I took the, everyone to the you know I took all the local officials to the, the bullet center and showed them and because the water and waste department the county had to approve everything and they said, all right, you seem to be both crazy and know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> and so they said, go ahead and do it. Um, so that was interesting. Um, and then, I, you know, I wanted to do uh, what I call a localist project, uh, where as much of the materials came really close at hand. I wanted to use as much salvaged materials as I could. And I also wanted to demonstrate new and innovative. The door was brought over by a local retailer for an exhibit. And then after a couple weeks, they dumped it. So this is the kind of thing that you can find sometimes if you have good salvage yards in your city. So uh, I work with Earthwise Salvage primarily in Seattle, and uh, we uh, found this door. And, and so you know, folks, this is made in Afghanistan originally, hand carved. Um, folks were about five feet tall then, uh, <laughs> so I had to build a plinth, and then I made my own. I made my own pick plate to make it work. Um, and you can see the burnt wood finish around it as well. Off of the windows, you have a big ass fan, <laughs> uh, and you really don't need to do much else. Um, I do have a, a, a hydraulic heating system in the floors um, for those cold days, and I also have two giant dogs that do a lot of thermal work for us. <laughs> um, so it's round earth, and then we have um, wood above it. Um, and the, the walls are basically an advanced frame technique, so there's sort of two, two walls with staggered studs so the insulation can snake through, you know, on a bridging, so the 12 inch thick uh, wood walls, two foot thick walls, so the house um, is, is, you know, is smaller on the inside than it, because there's about 300 square feet of just earth walls in the house, which is pretty neat. Um, and uh, all the structural timber in here is all Bainbridge Island wood that was milled, by, uh, milled on the island by a local guy who has his own sawmill. Um, so it traveled almost, you know, no miles. Um, the glass and the, the lights is from a local artist as well. Uh, the only thing I... Um, you can see we have, we have a view of the water of the estuary. That's south. Uh, bedrooms are all to the east, so you wake up with the sun, kitchen, dining, and, and uh, screen porch to the west, so you have the sun at the end of the day. It's very sort of classic solar design. This is the mechanical room, so we're using this volume, which is exactly half, so I have short runs for hot water. 
I have space uh, underneath for my water treatment system where I use carbon and UV to treat the water. My composter is down there, so that's where the poop is treated. And then I have my manifolds for the radiant system under there. And I have a Daikon Altherma um, air to water source heat pump that uh, does most of the work. And that's down there as well. Behind you, you can see my cistern, which is huge. You didn't know it was there because I designed it uh, to be hidden by the, by the round earth. Uh, the thing about salvage windows is they suck from an energy pers perspective, but you can hang them as art. And this, of course, was a beautiful window um, uh, that uh, originally the glass was blown in France, brought over in the 1920s around. It was uh, put in, in the wood frame in, uh, in Portland and then used in a church in Seattle. And it was, of course, torn down and dumped. So again, we used that. Um, is it so backlit, too? No, it's just the, it's just the window. Yeah, it's yeah. just light. So we'll go into kids' world. Three more minutes. There's going to be a ladder, and that's a play loft for sleepovers. And there will be cargo nets over the two little kids' bedrooms, so they can come up there and they can lie out over their bedroom and have their sleepovers and stuff. So they have kind of a fun time up here. Um, all the doors are salvaged uh, from us from school buildings that uh, were taken down. So it ties back to the kids as well there. 